Okay, so I have a question for everybody. Your kit bag. Do you have an item of kit that you overlook every single time and always buy cheap? In my kit bag, I have a 150 pound set of twin specials, custom made with my old gym's print on them. Wanted to get a decent set of gloves, spent lots of money on them. I have a diamond MMA guard for the most important part of my body. About a hundred pounds this thing's worth. It, uh, obviously we got it free as we were sponsored by Diamond on our last channel. And very, very important. You know, I don't want to skimp out on one of these. Don't want to buy a cheapy little jock strap and risk uh, getting your nuts smashed in. We buy expensive rash guards. Things to keep our skin from burning when wrestling. I even have a set of Graps wrestling gloves to protect my fingers. And then we come across the piece of kit which in 10 years I have overlooked. I have always gone cheap and I've always regretted it. It has been the single worst part of my striking and sparring experience and that is a boil and bite gum shield. Why do we cheap out on one of the most important pieces of equipment in our bag? If it doesn't fit right, you're gonna get your teeth smashed in. My teeth are falling out. If it's too loose, you can't breathe. How many times have you been rolling, wrestling, grappling, sparring, whatever in between, and you've had to take your gum shield out because you can't breathe properly? These things suck. So why do we always go cheap? I think this one I got off Amazon, I think it was about 16 pounds. Um, it had lots of nice little ridgy bits inside of it, which uh, were meant to help fill the gaps between your teeth. But if I'm honest, it fits like shit. When I stick it in, it's loose, it lifts at the top of my gum, and I can't really talk with it, I can't announce it anything, because it's too wide at the back. It just doesn't work. So, why do we go cheap? There has to be a reason, I think it's just down to, I don't know, like, I guess people just being lazy. But today is a gear review day, and we are gonna be testing out and showing you how to mold your very own gum shield. I went through funky gums to get this. This is a custom gum shield. This is the mold set, so I have to do a pre-mold and then I send it back to funky gums and they create the gum shield. I need to get into it. Textbook error. They send you a pre-mold kit, which as you will see now when I open it, it has in this little box, we have a uh, stamped and addressed envelope so that I can send it back, plastic baggie and an envelope as well. The gum shield molding kit, which is essentially a very wobbly black gum shield, which we then have to take two mixing agents of this plasticine-y stuff, roll it together in a ball, stick it in the gum shield, bite into it, leave it there, job done. And it comes with instructions and a self-addressed stamped envelope free post so you can send it straight back as well. Really, really good. So I went through Funky Gums, one because they used to sponsor Brad back when he was in the UFC. It is our Smash's welterweight final. The Tale of the Tape is sponsored by Bud Light. Here we go, a couple of young gentlemen here, Bradley Scott and Robert Whitaker. Whitaker, just 21 years old. Oh, he weighed in 171 pounds. Fighting at a nudge of England. Here is Bradley. Um, his famous bear gum shield, which he had, which he threw into the crowd um, after he beat, beat Michael Kuyper. He's got the front choke, he's got the head trapped in the middle of his chest. Kuyper's struggling to get his hands out of his head. He got it. Sorely regrets, because that was his favorite gum shield. So it comes with instructions, which a nice pictograph layout, which show how to uh, boil the gum shield, how to bite it, how to set it in place, and then you add the plasticine molding, and then you form fit it to your mouth. You then put it back in the package and send it off. Sounds really, really simple. So uh, let's, uh, let's get to making this gum shield. Gum shield is in the water. 
Uh, leaving the water for about 10 seconds. That's been there for a lot longer. Okay, let's get this bad boy out. It's heavily deformed and nice and, f nice and soggy and floppy. Hair, yeah, floppy. Right, bite this sucker in. Okay. Mm. So, the description says, press it in. I've got to suck the gum seal to your teeth and massage it into your gums. I think that's pretty good. Right, we can rinse it off in cold water and then we are ready to put the plasticine into the mold. So the gum shield is all molded and it's cold and ready for the plasticine. So we have two types of plasticine to get, no, I dropped it. So we have two types of plasticine. One is, I guess, like a setting agent. On their own, they're soft and not gonna go hard. Mix them together, eventually they will set each other. There we go. The description shows to roll them into a ball. We have one orange one, one white one. Roll them to a ball until they make a seamless color. There we go. It's quite cool, actually, quite fun to do. Although I will admit, I fucking hate putting shit like this in my mouth. I, I had braces as a kid. If anyone knows what it's like having dental molds done, it's not fun, it's that like, uh, 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 Makes you want to be sick. It does for me anyway. It smells like mint, which is nice. At least they uh, put some attention into detail of the flavor. I wouldn't want this stuff tasting like plasticine. Okay, so once you have combined the two into a lovely yellow color, stretch it into a sausage, and put it into the gum shield like so. And then, as per instructions, bite it down, squidge it around, and your impression should look like this. Rinse the impression off so you ain't got no spit and saliva, and then bang it in the bag and send it off. Here we go. Oh, God. God damn it, fucking gross. <laughs> uh, hey. I already feel like the plasticine is starting to set. Ta-da! Right, let's let this thing set, bang it in the envelope, and get it back to Funky Gums to get my gum shield. Two weeks later. Oh, it's here, it's here, it's here. There she is, sat there looking beautiful. Here we go. Okay, moment of truth time. We have our gum shield. Um, I've already opened it. <laughs> We're gonna wait, sadly. Got excited. Ooh, beautiful. And a lovely little funky gums carrier. Oh, check this out, I'm so excited. <laughs> so I've been waiting for this for two weeks. Wow, wow, wow. So we have a lovely Fight Bible gum shield. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I went with black and white, obviously. This thing looks beautiful and it fits. It fits my mouth absolutely perfect. Oh, beautiful. Literally, I can actually talk, almost. It fits, there's no squeaking, there's no movement, it doesn't rub. Wow, that is amazing. It's not an... <sighs> Fuck, that's tight. That is how a gum shield should be. That is worth every single penny. I've been fanning around with those stupid boil and bite ones for so long. Why has it taken me best part of 12 years to buy one of these? Worth every penny. So there you have it guys, that is my review of the Funky Gums Gum Shield. Really, really great service. The end product is absolutely flawless. This thing is a work of art and it will save me a lot of time, effort and pain in the future. So I would 100% recommend getting yourself a professional gum shield. Don't be a cheap prick and actually put the money where it matters. This thing is gonna be so important to me as I move forward in the future. 
And if I don't lose it, I plan on keeping this thing for a very, very, very long time. This video is not sponsored by Funky Gums. I do have a code for them, which will be in the description below, but that was purely because I messaged them and told them I am making a video. And obviously I sent them the graphic and everything else. Make sure you check out the links below, subscribe to the channel, and make sure you check out all of our back catalog for more videos. But for now, from me, Joe, see you later. Thank you.